MMA Viking here at uh, Cage Warrior 66 with uh, two, the manager and the trainer at Rumble Sports. Yeah. I, 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 we lost track of statistic tonight, but how many Rumble Sports uh, on the card tonight? We had uh, six on, so it was a good night. They all performed. Uh, well, yeah, good night. Yeah. How many of them uh, won? Five out of six. Norwegian Alexander Jacobsen, Alexander Jakobsen. In Norwegian, he uh, stumbled a bit, got caught, and that's what's happening. You know, he's he's like making the transition from boxing, pro boxing, to MMA, and he's really good at the different uh, uh, distances. He's really good at striking, at clinching, and at the groundwork. But it's like in between, he, he's got a lot of holes there, and uh, yeah. But you he, he, uh, he did what he had to do. He he attacked him hard, and you know. Uh, let's start with the, the Bosnian bomber. Yeah. He looked really good tonight. Um, like what, what's next for a guy like that? Anyone. Let's bring it on. I don't care. I mean, he. I knew he was that good. So I, I wasn't even nervous going in. Uh, uh, when Ian contacted me, I said that Tommy Maguire was out, but that John Maguire would step in. Um, I didn't hesitate. I said, I told him, I'll, I'll say yes now and I'll contact them here, but I know he'll say yes. So just start, you know, writing out the papers and stuff. And I called them here and like, you want to face John instead? He's like, yeah, that was it. So he's, uh, he's confident and he's training hard and he's evolving rapidly from, yeah, from month to month. And he, he showed that tonight. And I think he's, as I've been saying it in, in, in the interviews and previews and stuff, that we've got like a very high level of fighters in Denmark, but they haven't gotten the recognition because the local events haven't, they haven't like uh, promoted the fighters properly. Uh, so we well, lots, lots of guys, guys who haven't fought uh, or didn't fight at this event as well, like Sap Taskula, Jürgen Christensen, those guys. And uh, yeah, welcome to Denmark. <laughs> A lot of pressure on uh, Nicholas Dalby tonight. Uh, he came out, looked like he was in a hurry, and uh, and his on a, his opponent was kind of waiting for the counter for four rounds. We expected. Uh, two kinds of fights. This was what we mostly expected, uh, but what we feared was that he would pressure him a bit more. Uh, so we, I, I kind of expected this would happen because I, I've seen him train a bit and he's, uh, some of his earlier fights, true love, he's really good at counterboxing. So I knew he would try to do that, or I, I thought he would. Uh, and so it was all about keeping the composure and just keep you know, working on the legs, chopping them down and then bring up the high kicks once in a while. And sooner or later, he yeah, he caught him, and he, he it was all about not making mistakes, which is a hard game to play. Um, but he's really good at it, Nicholas. So uh, for discipline, did what he had to do, didn't mess up. Uh, got caught. I didn't even see what he got caught by. Maybe it was elbow when he shot in. I don't know. Uh, but he he looked good. I did what he had to do. Won all the rounds. I thought pretty easily. Uh, but I mean, all the guys, some guys in Denmark have like criticized the the title fight. I think Chulov showed that he's he's a dangerous guy. He. Whenever Nicholas made like a slight mistake, he capitalized and caught him with some big counters. So he, he was dangerous at all times, and I, I didn't like the fight. I mean, I, I wanted Gail Grimaud, and I wanted Simon Thoris, or Jim Wallhead, or or Bethany Saif, or one of those guys with like big names because they come to deliver. And 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 if you lose to a guy like them, you would wouldn't matter that much. But if you if you had lost to Trudeau, it would be no, it would be a, a bigger deal, I think. So we want those kind of fights, the bigger. Fights uh, possible is what we want. So um, I didn't like the fight, and when it started, one of the first things uh, I, I said to my assistant coach Thomas Akua, I don't like the fight because I knew he was he was he was looking sharp. He came to win, and just the, the state of his country, Ukraine. He's a uh, all the lights went out. Uh, anyway, uh, I mean he he came to fight more than just for himself. He got his entire country rooting for him, and uh, we knew it would be dangerous. So yeah. Well, uh, a very good night for the Rumble Sports guys and yeah. Scandinavian MMA. Yeah. So I did, didn't get to see all, lots of the fights. I, didn't, I want to see more of the fights. So um, yeah, I hope hope guys enjoyed it. I thought there were some pretty good fights from what I heard, and those I saw were pretty exciting. So yeah. yeah. Thanks for this time. We'll see you in the future. Yeah. Thank you.